Good morning, adventurers. Good morning. We're just at the main station here in Wrocław. We are about to hop a train up to Poznan. Uh, it's about 90 miles north. And, uh, it should take a little over two hours, I think. Yeah. We booked another first class ticket because it was also not so expensive. So we'll get to show you what a first class experience on a Polish train is going to yeah. be like. But it is a very warm day. We've got all of our gear <laughs> strapped on. As we mentioned in our previous videos, we are ready to switch to rolly bags because we can't lug this stuff around any longer. Yeah. Plus, I have my old laptop in this bag, so I'm just <laughs> carrying around an extra paperweight, basically. <laughs> but anyways, oh, we've yeah. got about an hour to kill, so we're going to just chill in a Starbucks or something, probably get a coffee, and then we're going to hit that train. I cannot wait, and I can't wait to cool down, you guys. Yes. I know you can't probably tell, but this is I'm just sweating profusely right now. <laughs> We were trying to think when the last time was that we went to a Starbucks. We don't usually I, go to Starbucks when yeah. we're traveling around. I think it was months ago in Bali. We had, we needed Wi-Fi. Yeah, we only go there out of necessity, yeah. really. But uh, we got these delicious cold brew lattes. They're actually, the lattes at Starbucks are actually pretty good. I'm not gonna lie, but we like to go to the more local shops because usually the coffee there is better in general, but yeah. pretty good. Yeah, and sometimes they have nitro cold brew. They didn't have it here, but that's yes. Eric's jam if they have it. Yeah, if you're a fan of Starbucks and you haven't tried their nitro cold brew, if you see it on the menu, get that stuff because it's real good. We're heading to our train car now, and we were wondering if they'd have like a restaurant car, and they do right there. And it also says bar in big red or big white letters up there, so they have a bar. Perfect. I think we found. Yeah, and our car is right next to it. <laughs> I think we might be in a room with other people. <laughs> this will be fun. trip is underway. I think we're gonna head to the restaurant car to see what that is all about. So the restaurant car is fairly empty. I would say that um, we bought the first class tickets because we figured we'd have more leg room or like more of a private area but we really didn't. We, we have a car with a bunch of other people and really you can just come here and have a lot more room and just sit at one of these high tops or sit at one of the tables over there. But it looks like the food options are a bit limited and we're a little dumb. We thought, we just assumed that they would have some decent, something to eat, something substantial, but it doesn't look like they have that much other than snacks and beer. I thought I saw someone bought a sandwich up there though, which I did not see advertised on the sign. So we're gonna go up there and see if maybe we can get something. So the lady just saw us sitting here and came by and handed us the menu. It turns out they have a lot more stuff that you can actually order, like pork chops, chicken filet, dumplings, all kinds of stuff. All well, right. have specials. <laughs> That's good. Okay. This girl was getting a little nervous about yeah, it. Yeah, because all, we don't have any snacks with us or anything. We have like butter and jelly. Don't ask me why we're carrying those around with us, but that's pretty much all we have. Y'all, the food has just arrived. Look at this, it's all steaming. They have a legit kitchen in there with like pots and pans and a stove. So I did the pork chops. It came with assorted salads and boiled potatoes with a bunch of dill. Eric got, I think, a chicken breast with, I guess, the same sides. This is amazing. Each meal was 22 zloty, which is about uh, 550 USD. That, I'm very beyond impressed with this. So I've got this baked chicken with some herbs and stuff on the top. She made everything fresh back there, which is crazy. I just assumed they were just gonna pop some plastic Tupperware thing in the microwave, but they didn't. This is a pleasant surprise. It's definitely not the most exciting piece of chicken, but it's so much better than what I was expecting that it's getting me really excited. <laughs> it's really not bad with the herbs and stuff that they have on the top, but it's a little dry. It's just much better than what I would expect for a train. So for me, I'm pretty happy with this. And considering it was only like five USD, is that how much it was? 550 USD, that is a pretty good deal. And we got some potatoes with some dill on them and a couple sides. Oh, I am so excited for this. Yeah. Yours looks better than mine, I think. Uh, cause it's freaking fried pork, man. You can't go <laughs> wrong with that. Oh yeah. I don't even have to try your chicken to know that I won today. But it is nice and deep fried and crispy, but still super juicy on the inside. Even though it's really thin, you could, you know, it could get really tough, but still super tender. 
and the seasoning is really good. It doesn't need anything extra. Dang, I'm so jealous. Uh -huh. I'm gonna have to steal some of that for no, sure. No, no, none of it for you. <laughs> Made it to Poznan. Not a bad ride at all. Yeah, now we just have to figure out how to get to our Airbnb. It's, it's, I think it's over a mile away, so we might have to get a car or taxi or an Uber if they have it. Although it doesn't feel quite as hot here, so that's nice. <laughs> so we just arrived in Poznan. We took our Uber over here to our Airbnb. This place is bananas. We gotta show you around. First up is the main area of the house. This is the kitchen area, but it's also kind of a little dining room area, but you can see this place is designed so well. You've got this really nice exposed brick over here, little touches of green. They have some real plants all over the place, which gives it a nice breathable feel, makes it feel a lot more organic. And then we've got this system of blue and white cabinets. And of course, where we started the tour was in the main bedroom over here. Super simplistic vibe in here, and it's nice and secluded from the rest of the house. It's really cool. And check this out. It's just a big gray circle with a light on it. How do you turn this on? Whoa. It's kind of cool. <laughs> I don't know why I'm so fascinated by this. It's so, it's kind of dumb, but it's cool. <laughs> it's very <laughs> I like cool. It. It's art, man. It's got the cool green chair and everything. It's art, because really I said it's elegant. art. So the kitchen and our room are back on this side, but then there's also, I think if you came with people, this would actually be the master bedroom, but since there's just the two of us, we're gonna use it as our living room because it has this huge couch. It has the TV in here, but it also has this really cool divider in the room with another bed over here. So it's kind of like the living room and a whole bedroom all in one, but it's still nice and private and secluded feeling, but you get a really great view off of this room and a lot of sun. And then of course we have the bathroom which has got this really, really nice, clean, white vibe. It just kind of like bursts with brightness when you walk into the room. But the coolest feature of this bathroom is this right up here. They have these light fixtures hanging and then these little green mossy orbs as well. It's cool because it's a small touch, but it really makes, adds a little bit of organicness to the bathroom, I think, because the whole thing's white, so this green really pops. This whole building was renovated about a year ago, so there are a bunch of units like this in the building. But when we checked in, they told us that they actually brought in eight different architects to design the space. Yeah, so each apartment is absolutely unique, yeah. which is very cool. We hope you guys enjoyed coming to Poznan with us. We were gonna go out and explore some tonight, but it just got a little too late. He's got a vlog to edit, so yeah. we're gonna stay in. But tomorrow we will be back out on the streets and exploring. Uh, also, we'll go ahead and link to this Airbnb down below so that you can book it for yourself when you come. And we'll include a link that if you sign up using our code, you get 40 USD off your first stay, which yeah. is pretty amazing. Money. Also, we get a little discount, but not as much as you do. We also wanted to tell you guys about a brand new feature that YouTube has, you can actually become a member of our channel. Maybe you've already noticed it, but there's a join button below just above the description of the video, I think is where it is. But basically what that means is that you get a special badge next to your name and the longer you stay a member, your badge kind of upgrades and we'll be able to see the badge and other people will be able to see it when you leave comments and stuff like that. So you'll be able to stand out in that way. And we were also planning on doing like a um, monthly live stream, like kind of a Q&A type of thing for the people, for the members of the channel. So if you want to participate in that, um, it's probably going to be a pretty small group to start with because it's a brand new thing. This is the first time we're even mentioning it. So Yeah, it's a pretty interesting feature. I, YouTube every now and then puts something out that we're just like, Wait, what? What's happening? Yeah, we're not exactly <laughs> sure. You know, it's kind of an experiment for us because yeah. I think they just now rolled this out, but definitely check that out. You also get um, like special emojis and stuff that you can use in the chat and all kinds of stuff. And also nothing's really gonna change for people who don't uh, become members. So you don't have to do it or anything like that. Well, you'll still get our videos just like normal. This is just to get like some extra perks that are kind of built into YouTube. All right, well, we can't wait to show you around this city. It might be the most charming one we've been to yet. Yeah, we got Poland. a little glimpse of it on yeah, the way. Yeah, you guys have just been blowing us away with the charm here. We're loving yeah. it. And the food, of course, we love the food. All right, but that's it for tonight. Good night, adventurers. We'll see you on the road.